There comes a time when we heed a certain call. When the huge world must come together as one There are people trolling Oh, and it's time to lend a hand To life, the greatest gift of all We can go on Pretending day by day That someone Somewhere soon we'll make a video We're all part of Gator's great big family And the truth You know Gator is all we need We are the YouTube world We are the hatch leads. We are the ones who make a brighter day So let's start comedy there's a choice we're making We're saving our own channels It's true, we'll make a better day Just get ready Welcome back everybody, Gator the Legend here with you as always. And first things first, that poem I just read to you at the beginning here was uh, from a YouTuber named Mella Fakara. Uh, she's new to YouTube, but she's been doing, doing Twitch for a while. I'm gonna link her channel below. Go check her out guys, show her some support. She's a true Gator Knight and she deserves it. If everything goes according to plan, right now it's Wednesday night that you're watching this video. I'm making it on Monday night though, and I have to tell you guys, the last day and a half has been a whirlwind of emotions. It has completely changed basically everything I believe in when it, become, when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to humanity, when it comes to you guys, when it comes to myself. I decided yesterday I was going to take a stand. I was no longer going to sit by and just take it on the chin like I always have. You know, I'm a small time YouTuber. My job's to take it on the chin, right? That's what we fucking do. And I said, you know what? Enough's enough. It's time to make a difference. And I told you guys, I, I told you guys that I believe that if we joined together and that we stood together, that we could make a difference. And, and you guys joined me and I, I couldn't have been more excited. You, you were in the comments, you were on Twitter, you were out there showing your support. Uh, there's definitely two, two guys in particular I, I really just want to show a huge fucking amount of gratitude towards and, and just throw a big thank you to you guys. Fucking roll it. Gay's been blocked on Twitter by Keemstar for no reason. And to be fair, I'd like to know the answer as well, Gator. I stand with you on this one. Send this Keemstar's way and make sure he lets you know. And Keemstar, if you want to ban me, it's at Van Berman. I'm not going to put it in there. But yeah, ban me too. What? I stand with Gator. I stand with the Gator. I, st I stand with the Gator. I, I, I stand with the Gator. I, I stand with the gator. I, I, I stand, I stand, I stand with, with the, the gator. gator. I stand with the gator. When it comes to the Gator Knights of the world, those two guys are fucking legends. They have been with me since the beginning. Van Berman, that guy has been supporting me since the fucking get-go. He even made a video in support of me years ago, and he has stuck by. And, you know, w lately we've lost contact with each other. We really haven't, you know, uh, been on each other's videos very much. And I regret that. I really, really do. Uh, but he, he's back. He's back uh, during the time we needed him most, which, which is what a true Gator Knight is there for. He saw that the Gator was in need, and he didn't just sit by. He didn't just sit down. He stood up behind me and he said you know what gator i've got your fucking back i've got your back until this all fucking ends i don't even care if i get roped into it i got your fucking back and then you got J Boast TV, that motherfucker. This is a guy that I go to for advice. This is a guy that I ask for help. This is a guy that I have relied on time and time again. This is a guy who owes me nothing. And yet, and yet, here he goes, putting his neck on the line, putting his channel on the line, putting his Twitter on the line, putting everything on the fucking line for the Gator, for the fucking Gator. If that doesn't make you a legendary Gator Knight, I don't know what the fuck does.
And I honestly don't give two shits what any motherfucker out there says when it comes to having a great fucking fan base. I may not have the biggest fan base. It may not be the largest fucking fan base in the world. I'm definitely no fucking PewDiePie. I know that for sure. But when it comes to greatness, when it comes to legendary fucking status, I put my fan base up against any other fan base out there. Because you guys, you guys are the gold standard of fucking fan bases. Who else has their fucking fans stepping up for them? In a moment where I'm doing something that could be construed as fucking insane. I'm going up against somebody who literally has like 1,716 times the amount of fucking subscribers that I have. Like it's insurmountable. Why would you take my side? Who would put their neck out for that guy? No one. Fucking no one. Other than a legendary fucking Gator Knight. And I have so many of you guys out there. So many Gator Knights that are all ready to sit at my fucking round table. Because here at Gator the Legend, we're all equal. So now for the reason we are all gathered here for this video today. Late last night I was sitting there in my big comfy chair drinking a beer and watching some Peaky Blinders like I do every night and I get a notification on Twitter and I run over there real quick to check it because I'm like what the fuck's going on? I mean it's been kind of a crazy fucking day. I get on there and I bring it up it actually ended up being a couple notifications, some likes and some things. I'm like what the fuck's happening here? And then all of a sudden I, I, I realized something. Oh my gosh, one of these notifications is from Keemstar. And I click on it, and it, it's just a meme. It's a meme of Chris Hansen, I think that's his name, the guy from Dateline. And he's saying, why don't you go ahead and take a seat over there? And at first, I'm like, holy shit, this motherfucker. I go out, I call him out, I'm protesting him and all this shit. And he's just going to talk shit to me? He's just going to talk shit to me? This motherfucker's talking shit to the gator? After, I, after everything I've done, everything I've been through, everything I have just thrown at the fucking wall to try and get your attention, and this is what I get an insult? And then it dawned on me, how am I able to see this? How am I able to see this, this, this meme, this tweet that he has tagged me and how is it possible? So I click on his little profile picture and oh my God, he had unblocked me. It was a gift. It was a gift from the Keem legend himself. He had come down and he said, you know what, Gator? You know what? I, I, I don't have an explanation for why I blocked you I, I, or I don't want to tell you the explanation or it was just an accident. So instead of, of doing any of that, he, he unblocked me. I gave him a way out in the other video. I said, hey man, either explain to me why I got blocked or unblock me and we can just move on. And he unblocked me, guys. He fucking unblocked me, man. It was so awesome. I'm like, we're like eight hours into this protest. Even, uh, I mean, I don't even know if it was eight hours. Maybe it was, maybe it was like fucking seven. I don't even fucking know. And it worked. It worked. A few of you guys, you came out, you made your videos. You said, I stand with the gator. A lot of you guys hit up the comments. A lot of you guys were on Twitter. All you guys were standing up. All you guys were saying, guess what, Keemstar? We're with the Gator. We're with him on this. We're not with you. And it worked. It fucking worked, guys. He fucking unfucking blocked me. Look, look at this. Look at this fucking tweet. And with all of that being said, I can officially announce to all of my Gator Knights out there, mission accomplished. We did it, guys. We fucking did it. So that means there's only one thing left to do, guys. It's time for the Gator to sit down. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God, it feels so good to finally sit down, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, it feels so good. Oh, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this bad boy up. Uh, one, one more time, I want to thank Mello Ficar for your uh, poem at the beginning of the video. I also want to thank Jay Bose TV, OK, and Van Berman. Uh, go check out all three of these people's YouTube channel. I'm going to put them all down in the description. And I also want to thank each and every one of you guys for, for commenting, for supporting, for sharing, for showing up at Twitter and help me out there as well. Uh, you guys made a difference today. I, I hope you guys realize that. How many YouTube bases out there can say that they personally helped a YouTuber make a difference? There's not very many of them, but guess what? My Gator Knights, you guys can say that. You can say it loudly, and you can say it fucking proudly. So until next time, I've been the Gator, and you've been great. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass?
Mamie, yeah. Mamie, yeah.